Hi everyone! I'm gonna try a new angle today actually because um, that one is a little bit dark and I feel like I'm cooking on the side which is a bit weird. Um, so I'm gonna make something quite simple today. It can be like a really good brunch dish. Um, so this is shredded potatoes. So I'm gonna do some homemade hash browns with a little bit of green chili and black sesame. And then with that I'm gonna do like a chili yogurt and a red pepper salad. So really simple. Um, so let's get going. So to my potatoes here, I am gonna add, and um, this is a big handful, it's about half a block of mature cheddar cheese, which has uh, been finely grated, and then two green chilies. So obviously this is called, sorry, here we go, here's the chilies. Um, this is called green chili and black sesame rossies, basically, or hash browns, whatever you wanna call them. And then I've got two cloves of grated garlic in there as well. Also going to add, and uh, again, we all love garlic, so here's some garlic granules give it a big generous heap and then the kind of main ingredient as well as the chili uh, black sesame so this is toasted black sesame which I keep in my pantry and then along with that so potatoes are quite um, watery actually uh, you do have to drain the potatoes once you've grated it it produces a lot of water so what I usually do is I grate it a little bit earlier in the morning then I will uh, basically put it in a strainer and then let it sit uh, inside a big bowl and all the water comes out. It's still quite watery despite me like squeezing it all out. Um, but hence the flour to kind of bring it together and the cheese really helps as well. So while that's happening, I'm actually gonna switch on my pan because the pan needs to be quite hot for this. You can um, do this in the oven. I've done it once in the oven. Actually works really well. Um, but if you're home and having a nice little brunch, then uh, the crispy bits on the pan are really worth it. Um, so yeah, I prefer doing it on the pan for sure. I'm also going to add a little bit of salt into it. There we go, so I could heap. And just give it like a good mix with your hand. As you can see, um, it's like a dough. And what you want out of this is whatever shape, I usually go for something like burger size for my hash browns and again they don't need to be like equal or round or whatever so I kind of go for something like this and then I'll just kind of lay them down but actually it's quite easy to do it on the go so I'm gonna wash my hands put oil in this and get going so to check if the oil is ready you can just add a little bit of that potato and if it's sizzling then it means it's ready basically so I'm just gonna take that out don't want it to burn and I will actually go in with patty number one. So I'm only making two uh, because this is for my lunch. But what you can do with the rest of the potato quite easily is just make the discs and uh, freeze them. Uh, and it works really well um, if you just take it out, put it in the oven or fry it like this. So there's about a centimeter of oil in here, so it's not a lot. Um, but like I said, it's quite like a, I don't know, like a nice lunch treat to be honest. So these need to fry for about three, four minutes on each side. It's quite thin, um, as you can see, like, I've just flattened it quite a lot because I like the crispy edges. I think everyone likes the crispy edges, so why not? Um, so I've got a couple of spoons of Greek yogurt here. I always like using Greek yogurt because it's thicker and uh, yeah, I always find it tastes a lot creamier, so I use it a lot more. Um, and then for the yogurt, I'm just gonna add a good helping of pepper. So don't be shy on this one. Literally go with about eight little bits. Then a little squeeze of lime, lemon, sorry. The best thing ever, sriracha sauce. Helping. And then I'm actually just going to flip my potato cakes because they're getting nice and brown. Like I said, they're super quick to do, so you can do both at the same time. Um, I'm pretty sure no one's going to want it less brown. The crispy bits are literally the best. So let it brown up like this one. And then give the yogurt a good little mix. And if you have this, uh, it's one of my favorite ingredients ever. Uh, harissa paste, such a good kick. Add a little bit, so like quarter of a teaspoon, because this isn't really much yogurt, it's for basically one portion. You can make this yogurt and keep it in the fridge. I've done that before and added it to other stuff and it's so delicious. And just a little bit of salt, just a little sprinkle. That's it, um, really easy dip. It's one of my go-to things, like adding sriracha sauce to yogurt is amazing. So while that's going on, um, it's quite nice. I don't know, I, for lunch, like a little, you know, a couple of little variations. So I'm gonna make a little salad on the side. And this is a little cheat thing that I do when I'm kind of just making stuff for myself. I make my salad in a box and it means I can 
give it a, you know, toss around without making a big mess and it's good for one portion. So I'm just gonna throw in some pumpkin seeds and they're toasted pumpkin seeds, which are always better than just raw pumpkin seeds. And then a couple of cherry tomatoes, just halved. And then, oh, I've got one more. And then I've got this beautiful pepper. If you don't have peppers or tomatoes or whatever, use whatever vegetables. Um, again, it's the kind of dressing in the salad that makes for a really good salad, I believe. Unless you have really, really fresh vegetables from like Italy. <laughs> um, or from like your local vendors. But my pepper is from the supermarket. So actually the flavors in my salad are gonna make it. So throw the peppers in. And then this is something I am pretty sure a lot of people have lying around. Uh, pickled onions. Um, again, I do something really random with this. I put some sriracha sauce into that vinegar because I love sriracha sauce. So I'm just gonna add four of these. I am gonna cut them actually. I don't want big chunks of onion. But yeah, this is, I don't know, like a cheat home salad. I don't know why I call it cheat even. It's like using ingredients that I would have lying around. Um, so giving it a big squeeze of the lemon, the same one that I was using before. And these potato cakes are done, so I'm really happy. Like I said, brown them nicely. That is literally the best part of all of this. And the burnt edges really make this. So yeah, you're welcome. Make them flat. Uh, the flatter you make them, the more the edges catch on. So I've got a little bit of mustard here. It's going into the salad. So like half a teaspoon. Salt. Good helping of salt. So after you put all the stuff in your box, seal it and do a little dance with it basically. It's such an easy way to make a salad and I don't know why you need a massive bowl because ta-da! And um, yeah, I'm actually just gonna have this on the side of these potato cake things. Uh, might not even need this whole thing, I've made too much I feel. And I'm not super hungry today because uh, I had a pretty big breakfast. But um, if you are and you're having this as a lunch, um, just have some bread with it and uh, maybe make a little sandwich. It's a pretty good idea. Um, it's super tasty and um, yeah, quite fresh. Use whatever vegetables. The salad dressing is just perfect. Um, go for it, guys. And um, I'm gonna go and eat my little potato hash brown things that I made at home, and they're way better than the frozen ones. Mm. Bye. If you like the little hash brown yogurt and uh, salad recipe today, as always, please do subscribe, share it with your friends, share it with your family, and um, yeah, it's just my way of like getting out to you guys during this pretty uncertain time um, and sharing just how I eat and how I cook. So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed it and give me a thumbs up and leave some comments. And if you wanna see a particular recipe, this is particularly for friends, um, please leave me a comment or give me like a message and I will try and do that for you.